Hey guys, what's up? It's Neon Tiger, and welcome to Titan Souls, or rather Titan Souls Prototype Redux, aka a demo, <laughs> that is actually available on Steam right now. The game is being published by Devolver Digital, and they were cool enough two weeks in advance of the game's release to put a demo out on Steam so you could play it and get kind of a taste for it yourself. I mean, it's being published by a small developer called Acid Nerve. And they originally, the original Titan Souls was like a, a Ludum Dare game that they put together in, I think, like 72 hours or something like that. You know, something ridiculous. And it's kind of a little bit like Shadow of the Colossus, except about a million times harder. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and ignore that first slot. This is not something you want to see. So we have, in this demo, we have four Titans we need to slay. And you go tap A to roll, hold A to run, press X to fire. You have one arrow. You're this little dude. Right there. Hello! 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 Round. Uh, you're this little dude. Roll. You have four. You have one arrow. And there are four Titans to beat. And they all die in one hit. The catch. There's obviously a catch to this. The bosses are exceptionally hard. So, I'll show you real quick here. Hit that X button. Go. There. Oh, he's firing his laser. So I gotta go pick up my arrow first and foremost. Oh, goodness, I almost died. Okay. There we go. Gotta keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. Oh, get out of the way. Oh, and I burnt myself to a cinder. I just rolled right into that one. So the... The, mo the bosses they can crush you, they can... Well, most of the time they'll just crush you. That's kind of the that's kind of the thing they like to do. Uh, but they can crush you. They can't oh, can't roll upstairs. They will crush you. They'll burn you. They'll do whatever it takes to to get you dead. All right, so here we go. Oh, I missed an arrow. Let's find another shot here. Up, I I rolled on that one again, and I got splatted. Of course, good job. But yeah, he's got a pretty simple pattern to memorize. He rolls around, I think, on the closest square to you, and after four rolls, he fires his laser. So that's pretty simple. Get my arrow back. It's not gonna work. Let's see if I can get him back here. Oh, oh, I rolled into that. And I got sweaty. Now he's rolling over me. Now he's just taunting me. Alright, but there's there's three other titans, and then it's like a final titan to kill, too. I don't think we'll get to the last titan, I'll be honest with you. I think, I don't think we're going to get past maybe the first one here. This is somewhat embarrassing. But let's see if we can bounce that that way. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, and he can do the laser thing where he does that, and then. Quickly, quickly. Oh, oh. Crap, I miss him, I miss him, no, no, stay alive. Yes, there we go. Ooh, nice. So we get this little screen, and we gotta run over here, hit X, grab our arrow back, and we get all the souls from the Titan. There we go. Nicely done, and the animation this actually looks a lot more. I played the original one, and I... I couldn't even beat the first Titan on the original one. So, this is kind of a a welcome little surprise, but it is indeed fairly easy to play once you know the patterns, but at the same time it's really hard because it's just, they move so fast, the Titans move so fast, and they hit so hard, and you have, you have one heart too. You basically get one hit, and they get one hit, and basically whoever, whoever gets the hit first, you were the mob boss gets the first hit. Winner wins the face off. So, come down down here. Got this brain in a cube. And, oh, yeah, he just squished me right there. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, this game does not, does not forgive nicely. You can see we've got the first guy taken care of over here. So we'll have to run all the way back. 
yes, we do have to run back every time there's no... Well, there is kind of an autosave function where it will save as you beat these bosses, and it will save actually after every life, but there's no autosave function. I don't just get to spawn right back in here. I have to run back. So... Do that. Oh. That's, uh... That's no good. So I still haven't learned his patterns. You can tell. I'm kind of struggling with it a little bit. He's on a, he's a brain and a block of ice that slides around. And the other guy, we'll also get over there and try and show him off in this video. But the other guy is a... Keep running, just keep running. I gotta get him to come after me. Like this, I guess. Oh, he's not going fast enough. Just keep running. Oh, he killed me. So, what I have to do is I have to get the. Let's see if I can maybe do it one more time. I'll give it one more shot here, and then we'll go to the third guy. Let's see if we can't kick his butt. But. He's in a block of ice, and you gotta get him to pull down the... Maybe you don't. Maybe you can use the arrow to do it. I don't know. You gotta wake him up first. So the first shot will wake him up. And this guy's gonna come up here. if I can shoot the arrow through the fire. That's what I'm thinking now. That's what I'm thinking now. Um, if I can shoot the arrow through the fire and it turns into a flaming arrow, that would possibly penetrate the ice. Let's give that a shot. I want to try that. If that doesn't work, then we'll have to try something else. I feel like that might work. Uh, that didn't help. I went right for the arrow and it killed me. Okay, we gotta give this arrow thing a shot. We gotta give this a an opportunity. And what's interesting is there's no no guide 
tells you how to beat these bosses. There's probably videos that will give you the idea on how to beat them, but there's no guide that says you need to use the fire. You know, there's no power ups or anything like that. It's just. Oh, really? Yeah, I bet that's what I have to do, but it would help if I could survive a little bit first. So let's, uh, let's get this guy over here. Hopefully we can get this a shot, and if it works, it should thaw the brain, and then probably once the, the brain is thawed out, I bet then he will... Oh, come on. Now away. Get the arrow back. In the middle. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it right there. That's how you do it. That's what, how you're supposed to do it. Okay. I got it. So get on the opposite side of him. That. Oh. Crap. That was my opportunity right there. If I can get him to just slide over here, please. Oh, he's gonna come on over there. Oh, no. Hit it. Oh, damn it. He's gonna jump. lined up perfectly. I've only got like a split second shot at it too. Oh, damn it. That was that was the solution. I wanna do this. I wanna do this. I wanna see I wanna see this work. Um so we're gonna keep going back here. I know I said I was gonna do the other one, but we know what we have to do now. We gotta get him to hit the the flame to go up, and then we gotta shoot an arrow through the flame so it hits the the brain and the ice cube. And then once we do that, see if I can, oh, I missed that. I missed completely. Damn it! All right. Gotta do that. Oh, get out of the way! Get out of the way! Crap. That was it. That was the opportunity we had to get that done. Okay. The... Yes, there it is. So now we guys got floating brain to okay. so He's gonna do that. And I'm gonna have to time it so that I hit him when he lands. Oh goodness. We got an angry brain after us. Got him. There we go. That's just what we needed. So we're gonna get to do the uh, third Titan as well, I guess. All right, so we did it. Nicely done. Got a nice little cutscene and one dead brain. Alright, so, where's the exit? Oh, there's the exit. So yeah, this is pretty much the same kind of layout that the original Titan Souls game had. The original kind of short game that was just really more a uh, thing they threw together. So there should be, yeah, a third one should be here, and then the fourth guy's up at the top. And I remember this guy, I remember him crushing me hell of a lot. So I expect much of the same here. Yep, it's to do with the fists. Alright, so I'm gonna pop him once. He's gonna get angry and I have to, oh, yep, I got crushed. And now he's smushing me. Alright, so how about we say, let's do two more attempts and then I think we'll call it so what that guy can do. So we have to, he's got a little a glowing part 
where you have to shoot him, and that's kind of his heart. And once you shoot that, that is that boss fight. He's covering it up with his hand there, you can see it. Oh. Oh. You gotta do it when he's switching his hands. That's when you have to shoot, and you have to be really quick about it. So if we can't do it on this time, then I'm just gonna say, well, you know what to do. Play it yourself. So at least we have the ability to kind of grab the arrow real quick here. Once we wake him up. Up, oh, come on. Get out of the way. Ah, we had it. We had it. Ah, well, I think that's probably enough. That's what, good 15 minutes of footage. Give me a little bit of a taste of what the game's all about. This is just a demo, mind you. The full game will have a lot more to it, I'm certain. But if you want to play it yourself, you can check it out. And yeah, really, that's about it. It's a fun, very hard, very brutal game. But very re rewarding when you figure out what you're supposed to do and kind of go ahead and beat it. But thank you guys for watching. I'm going to swim laps in this pool right now just to kind of relax and chill because it's fun. We'll see you guys next time. Another little indie game to check out. So until then, take care.